Ok, hello everyone and welcome to a new episode of Let's Play Spelunky HD. Last time we began our quest at trying to unlock the last two unlockable characters in this game. And lo and behold, we did not get to unlock anything. That was stupid of me. I should have I should have avoided that trap. Oh well. Uh, so um, yeah, we are kind of in a bad position right now because we have two unlockable characters left to unlock. That's the last goal that I set myself for this game. Is that we unlock the last two unlockable characters and then we will call it a, uh, a 100% game. So that I can move on to a different series to replace this one. But in order for that to happen, we need to unlock the last two characters. And those last two characters will get will become available sooner or later. But um, because it's random when they spawn and it's quite unlikely for them to spawn, it's going to take a bit. My, my previous estimation was that it will take... Um, 10 to 20 videos, it might realistically take even more than that, sadly. But for anyone that's a fan of this series, that's a good uh, thing, because that just means you'll get to see more uh, more of my misery in this game. So that's good for you. Okay, I already have the piece, so no need to buy it. I want to buy it bomb boxes, though. And we might never be able to buy the second bomb box, so let's just buy a bomb bag. The cost of a bomb box is only 10,000 though. If we had $10,000 that would have been so nice. But oh well. We're only at $6,400 right now. It's an acceptable amount. All things considered, it's decent. Let's grab the damsel. I'm not going to grab the idol. I've always said this in the past, but the idol in the mines is just not worth grabbing. You destroy, you, get, you end up destroying so much of the level because you pick it up, and uh, you get so little value in return. I don't know if you can just break the Ujedi chest or not. Oh fuck me! But uh, I wouldn't risk it either way. And also, you can end up damaging the shop of the shopkeeper and triggering all the shopkeepers for the rest of the run, which I genuinely do not want. Oh, fuck me, I have I don't have the money, seriously. I guess I generally don't have the money. What can I do? Maybe we can get some extra money from these things, yeah, just like that. The more money we can get, the better it's going to be for us, honestly. Let's buy the spike shoes and even the spectacles since now we have the money for them. This is quite nice. We have a nice loadout of items on us right now. The spike shoes will help us a lot on the ice cave levels because we won't be sleeping around on the ice as much because we have them on us. The spectacles will help us on dark levels like this one because it will increase the radius of the light around our bodies so that we can better see what's around us. The paste is just good for bombs in general and the climbing gloves is, uh, is also kind of universally good. I don't know if you can get unlockable characters on dark levels though. I don't think I've ever seen that happen. Oh, fuck you, you stupid fucking bat. But just because I haven't seen it in the past doesn't mean that it cannot happen. I think it's just extremely unlikely.
And we're on at, on the jungle. Now here on the jungle we've got other issues to deal with. But we'll try to deal with them in due time. Like I said, right now my main goal is to get to Olmec. That's what I'm striving for. And Olmec is kind of easy to get to. Thankfully, anyway. That was easy. Good stuff is happening all around us. Oh, fuck me. I, sh I should have kept my mouth fucking shut. I jinxed it. I jinxed it. Oh, well, at least we got some ropes. Out of that entire ordeal. Please do, do not put out the torch. The torch is very valuable. Let's just try to survive. I don't want to go up there, honestly. Yeah, let's just move on. Okay, we dealt with a dark jungle level as well, and survived quite well, I might add. Oh, fuck me, I hate this fucking setup. We, we killed that piranha. Oh, shit! Fuck me, I was just afraid of that, god fucking damn it. I, I, I thought I could sleep through before that guy turned around. Clearly, I, did, I, was, I wasn't able to. Okay, that was embarrassing. Sometimes I really hate the jungle just because of those goddamn tiki men. Like the boomerang guys or the tiki men or however you wanna call them, they can kill you with just their boomerangs. And that's quite impressive. They're kind of an unfair enemy, I feel like. Like regardless of how much health you have, they can generally fuck with you really badly. I guess that's the power of the boomerang. The boomerang is a it's not the best item in the game by any means, but it's also not the worst. Like you can use the boomerang in a lot of different ways, which is quite cool. Okay, there's the jetpack. How much do we need to earn the jetpack? 20,000. I'll try to get 20,000 on this level because the jetpack is so fucking worth it. And given the amount of gold that there is on this level, I think this might actually be doable. We only need 500 more gold and we're pretty much done. Yep, this is it. We have the money for the jetpack. If we scrounge up just a little bit more, we might have enough money for something else as well. So we might as well uh, go through the trouble of grabbing even more money now. God, fuck, how, how did I mess that up? For fuck's sake, that was such a stupid thing to do. Oh my fucking lord. I'm really bad at this game sometimes. Sometimes I just remember that I defeated the Ama and I still wonder to myself how did that even happen. I don't think I deserved that credit given my lack of skill. But whatever I guess. Give me the fucking jetpack you bitch. Actually can we afford anything else? No we cannot. 
You know what? I'm fine with this. The, the jetpack is more than enough. With the jetpack in our uh, position, the game is going to be very fucking easy. We might as well even go through the trouble of getting... Um, or another trouble, but we might even attempt a speed run with the with the jet with the jetpack that we have right now. Although I will, I don't think I will do that because I'm I, I like to be thorough in this game. I don't I don't want to have fast levels. I want to to be able to explore every little nook and cranny on the level, and you just cannot do that on a speed run. Okay, so there's on this level we get the Ujirai. What the fuck is down there? Okay, so it's the web gun. I do not want the web gun. Okay, so we got the Ujerai. I don't wanna go down there. Let's just grab the damsel and get the fuck out. Because we can really. There we go. Yeah, let's move move on now. So we've got the jetpack. This run is pretty much um, done from my perspective. Or by that I mean that we we're in a very 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 ni nice uh, comfy uh, position. That spider just jumped into my fucking bomb like a goddamn idiot. Which I don't mind. But we are on the verge of... Fuck me. I, I have almost no bombs. What the fuck? Have we not been getting any crates? I have one bomb and one rope. Exactly. We have not been getting any crates on this entire fucking run. Also, look what the... F look what's in this fucking level. Are you kidding me? What happened to the difficulty? Like, this is just bullshit all around. Give me some goddamn crates, game. Less enemies and more crates, please. This is some grade A bullshit. Fuck you. Okay, we're on the jungle. Let's see if we can unlock a character right now. I shouldn't say that on literally every fucking video because uh, it's quite unlikely we will ever get to an unlockable character because of how difficult it is. You know what? I really shouldn't be going to the fucking... Uh, Black market because, like I said, there's just uh, lower chances for us to get, uh, you know, unlockable characters if we if we go through the trouble of um, if we go through the trouble of going to the black market. But at the same time, I kind of need bombs like desperately. Okay, let's grab the damsel and let's sacrifice her to Kali to get the Kapala. Excellent. I don't see an unlockable character over here. I desperately need bombs. Where the fuck are the crates? God damn it. God fucking damn it! Jesus Christ, that was so terrible. Well, either way, we weren't doing that great anyways. I can't believe I'm dying in such stupid ways. I, I have better skill than this, trust me. Like, I know how to play the goddamn game. This isn't how I, pl how I normally play it. 
<sighs> anyway, thank you very much for watching. Uh, I have a Mastodon account as well as a Matrix room that you can join if you want to get in touch with me. The details of which you will find in the description of this video. And in the meantime, thank you very much for watching and see you next time.